Okay, so come with me to Germany. We're going to Berlin Marathon. Navigate to Gatwick North Terminal. Perfect. London Gatwick North Terminal arrivals. Hawley is our next destination. They've oversold my flight, so I'm over here waiting for somebody to not show up. Then they're gonna let me know if I can get on this flight or not. <laughs> hey man. We gotta see, we gotta see. So imagine training all that time for a marathon and then not rock up because Izzy Jet over here oversubscribed. Come on man. Let's go to this thing. Berlin, here we go. False alarm. Got myself a seat on the plane. Watch a little bit of series. Got some food going and finally got to Berlin. Hey yo, there we go. There we go. All right, Berlin Marathon is getting done. Or I'm getting done. One of the two. Come on, man. There we go. Gotta go through immigration, get everything sorted and make our way to the SL launch event. Simply gonna be dope. I'll take you there. Hey. So what blew my mind is this bit here that I actually got picked up from the airport. Let's go, brother. Let's go, brother. Come on. Come on. Let's bet, my brother. <laughs> All right. Let's that go. Will you add it us? Yeah, Come, on. Come on. Come <laughs> on. Come on. Mine's height. Sorry, sir. What's your name? My name is Fred. Fred. Yeah. The man Fred just come to pick me up from the airport. Pull up in the old mug. Come on in a van, in his run DMC outfit. <laughs> I would highly recommend visiting Berlin. Such a, a diverse location. The architecture is amazing. Anyway, we got to the vent. Hey, yo. Hey. Hello, hello. Hello. Hi, my name is Aubrey. Uh-huh. Welcome. Hey, let's go. Let's go. You know, it's always a joy seeing these people. Tommy, I got to see Drew. I got to see the two Megans from Believe in the Run, and then you got Featherstone Nutrition, the man himself, Thomas from Believe in the Run. Love this man. The bromance wow. continues. Yeah. That's, that's right, that's right. <laughs> I got to see Carl again, and I met Robbie for the first time. Love this guy. And of course, the goat, Kafuzi. Love it. Anyone that wants to know what the Pro 4 is like, the Pro 3 had a baby with Evo 1. That's what the 4 is. Thanks. What do you no, think? Yeah, I agree. Yeah? I agree. Let's put that on the Adidas website. <laughs> Continued meeting people, the man. Wow, Jeffrey. Come on, man. Fino, love this. H E R R A Y M O N D. Now maybe tell me what you want to do with me. And I started talking with Mo at how blessed we are to be having such an opportunity. It just doesn't feel Check real. Check it out. With man, Mo. This is, this is not real life. This it's not real life, not man. Real life. We're blessed. We're blessed. Some man, Fino. Come on, bro. Right. So some race kit customization. But this part, this part was cool. So hello. Come with me, please. Yo in what used to be one of the most popular clubs in Berlin, okay. which is also located at kilometers nine of the Berlin Marathon route. So here, we are gonna show you an unreleased shoes. We will release it only on December 15, and we have a pair for you, my friend. Oh, oh, only for you. Let's go. And this shoe that you see here is actually the shoe that broke the first time the legacy of fast in Berlin. In 2008, a record was broken in Berlin exactly with these shoes. So to commemorate that, we created a record store. <laughs> and what you see here is a curation of vinyls, each of them released in one of the year where Adidas broke in Berlin Marathon a record. And here you go. <laughs> oh boy. So what's in this? The shoes. The unreleased Adisiro Adios OG. Here you go. A 101 of the originals one from 2008, unreleased and about to come out in Adidas Selective Store and Fashion Wholesalers only December 15. So, Kofuzi got hold of my mic whilst I was doing some content with Adidas. Here comes Aubrey. Here he goes, here he goes, here he goes.
Aubrey, run fast this time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what a start to the day. Um, after all of that, I got picked up and I was there with the boys, you know, with Mo, with Fino, uh, Greg, and of course Jeffrey, and just chatting in the car, talking about race plans. And we've come to this place for lunch and the place, the way it's decorated, just really, really good vibes. Oh yeah, I needed the toilet too. And just the way to the toilet, man, it feels like one of those museums with the optical illusions, perfect decoration. But yeah, the food came and just simply loving it, simply loving being out here. And I gotta tell you, a lot of this, you just have to stop and just appreciate everything as it happens. All right, so we just finished up with lunch. And then Fino over here went to see if we need to settle the bill. And they said it had already been paid. And I was like, well, why didn't you tell me before? Because <laughs> <laughs> I'd, have, I'd, have ordered, I'd have ordered some stuff. <laughs> oh my goodness, this guy is so can... loud. I'm so happy to see him. What's going on? Come on, Tommy, man. Yeah, let's go, bro. Come on, man. You ready? Let's go. You ready? Set. Look, look, look at the people we're seeing here. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. And then when you get to Matt. <laughs> what can I get for you? Sorry? What can I get for you today? Um, may I please have a wrap, mm -hmm. uh, donuts, mm -hmm. some fruit. Yep. And an Evo SL. <laughs> <laughs> In the afternoon, we had a coffee making session. Uh, this man here, the one you're about to see here, truly passionate about craftsmanship when it comes to coffee. So he talked us through different ways of making coffee, different types of coffees, origins of coffees. It's just a privilege to spend time with people that are passionate about what they do, and this man certainly was. But the highlight here, watch this. Hey, hey, hey. So, expect the review on the channel no, no, I'll do you one better. Hold on. Uh, you have to look quickly because I have to take it and put it back in super quick. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> All right, so we just wrapped up with the coffee. We got the SLs and I'm excited about that shoe. But my man Cedric here is about to take me to uh, the Adidas flagship store here in Berlin. It'll actually be cool to visit that, but that's not why I'm going there. I'm gonna go meet the Believe in the Run guys and just catch up with them and really start my time with them. Got a shakeout run with them tomorrow. Uh, so that's gonna be exciting. But for now, let's get to the flagship store. Okay, so traveled across to Berlin and actually saw part of the route we're gonna run on a marathon day and made it across to the guys and Believe in the Run and I keep losing myself because I watch these guys all the time and here I am with them, you know, it's really, really cool. Oh yeah, Carl got some artwork done on the old fingers, love that. Anyway, go to the hotel, it's a place called Soho Berlin and this hotel is perfect. Just a privilege. I walked into the room and I couldn't believe this, that I've come to run my first marathon in such circumstances. Beautiful. I'll see you in part two.